set up telephone ministries from the church service broadcasting on the phone lines to the prayer lines that we do on Thursdays. We have trusted God financially and gave and God has not only blessed us in our lives, but we are blessed in through others. And yes, we've lost members, but we've gained some members. We've lost ministerial staff and and God has allowed us to gain more ministerial staff. Mm -hmm. We've lost our media production team, and now we are reorganizing and rebuilding another. We've changed presiding elders three times, and we're about to lose one bishop for another. We've lived through COVID. And it seems that COVID is on the rise again. Okay. We had to close our church and, 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 and after years of reformation, transformation, and spiritual growth, we reopened the church again. We had our first program last year. And now we are planning for more of them in this conference year. So much, so much has happened to us as a church these last few years. One of, if not the most important events that has happened to us is that God has blessed us to move forward and to be about his mission be about his purpose and his vision. With all of these blessings and, and advancement, for some reason, it seems like we're stuck in a moment. Gazing at what God has done for us, gazing at how he has transformed us, and gazing at how he is blessing us financially in the present moment. Thank you, Lord. Are we stuck in the moment? In our text this morning, we see the disciples gazing as Jesus is ascending into heaven. Our text says, after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intensely up into the skies as he was going. I'm sure they were amazed. Uh -huh. They were watching the master ascending and going up and they knew he was preparing a place for them uh -huh. that where he was, they might be. Amen. He was ascending so they could be empowered by the Holy Spirit to go out and to be witnesses. Uh -huh. He was ascending so that they could be empowered by the Holy Ghost to Go out and make disciples for the kingdom yep. of God. At that moment, though, they found themselves stuck in the moment watching Jesus as he was ascending into heaven. For the past three years, Jesus has been preparing had been preparing them. He go. had been shaping them and, and molding them and what they needed to be in order to carry out the mission. He had prepared them to do what he had called them, to do what he had organized them to do. They were witnesses to him healing the sick. They were witness to him raising the dead, and they were witnesses of him casting out demons. They were faithful students learning who Jesus is and, and what he was sent to do. They were instructed on how to do ministry his way, how they should treat each other, and how powerful love is, and what love can do to and for his people. They have been sent out for on-the-job training and, and in their failures they were taught to go 
go forth as ambassadors of God's love towards his creation. They were taught that it is all about Jesus. Yeah. It was all about him, not about the gifts that they had, not about the talents that they had, yeah. not about even the blessings that they had received. It was all about Jesus. Right. They had been taught how to pray. Uh -huh. And the power of praying to the Father, they had learned that there was no way to get to the Father but through the name of Jesus. For Jesus had told them, if you pray anything in my name, as long as in my will and my way, anything in my name, as you come together touching and agreeing, anything yeah. in my name, yeah. I go to the Father. And it will be done for you because I will be in your midst. They were eyewitness to him being crucified and that he was had been raised from the dead. They knew his purpose and that he had to go, but, but at this moment, even though they knew he had to go, they were stuck. In the moment, looking up at the sky as he rose <laughs> up into the heavenly place. Our text goes on to say, and suddenly, look at your name and say, and suddenly. Suddenly. Suddenly, two men that dressed in white stood yeah. beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, Why? Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Yeah. Basically, these two men, these two angels were saying, snap out of it. Snap out. Hmm. You knew this was going to happen. He prepared you for this. Say it. Say it. This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back same way he left. Mm -hmm. Let us not get stuck in the moment of our mission. Yeah, yeah. He said, it's time to move on. Right. It's time to be empowered. It's time right. to take off. It's time to go out to and fro out right. to the world. Yeah. As he has told you to do, it's time to begin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We at Camp Hope have been through some things these past few years. There we are. Some good things and some bad things. Yeah. We have seen God work miracles in our lives. Yes, yes. We have seen him move in our personal lives, move on our job, move in our community, and move in our church. Yes, yes. We know he is with us. We know he will never leave us nor forsake us. Yeah. But we must realize that we can't get caught up in the moment. Yeah. It is time to move forward in the vision. It is time to move forward in the mission he has called us to do. Thank you, Thank you. I was teaching a class on the job and one of the students said, we can't be expected to do the great things that Jesus has done when he was on earth. Yeah. But I'm here to correct that statement. Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus tells us in, in, in John 14, Verily, verily, I say to you, he that believeth on me the works that I do, yeah. he shall do also and greater works oh, yes. than he shall he do. Because I go to my Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We shall do greater works, Jesus says, because he has gone to his Father. God teaches us in Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 that he has plans to do a new thing through us. He says, remember ye 
not the former things, neither consider things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the middle of your wilderness. Fair. A way in the rivers, in the desert, a way in your situation and yeah. circumstances, in a way when people come up against you, in a way when you run into to, to roadblocks, in a way when it seems like no way, I will make a way. Make a way. Thank you, Lord. As we have learned in this series, Jesus has just thanked the Holy Ghost unto us that he might empower us Jesus has said to us in John 14 that the Holy Ghost will be our teacher. He will be our helper. He will be our counselor. He will be our intercessor. He will be our advocate. And he will be our strengthener. He will be our comforter. And he will stay with us. Stand by us. Because he resides in us forever. Even until the end of time. God is sending us to prepare. God is sending us to help to prepare us and to assist us in carrying out his mission, his purpose, and his vision. We see in our WMS we are partnering with other churches, with other schools, and, and in the district. We see it in our finances as we are coming together and take care of our financial obligations. And God is allowing others, he is working through them to even support us with our financial resources as we carry out his vision and his mission for the church. God is sending other ministries He's sending Bible colleges and, and instructors to teach us evangelism and, 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 and community and power ministry. And God has motivated them in love that they have enlisted themselves to go out with us, to demonstrate and lead us in the strategies and methods which through God will allow us to go out and make disciples. But it seems like we might be stuck in the moment. Mm -hmm. God says that it's time for us to get energized. It's time for us to get activated. And it is time to us for us to get motivated as we accept and are empowered with God in us, for us, and through us. God has prepared the church to operate and receive the harvest. It says the harvest is plenty, mm -hmm. but the laborers are few. Are mm -hmm. few. Yeah. Now we must make ready to fulfill the command Jesus has given us, which is to go out. Look at your neighbor and say it's time to go out. To go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And Jesus says, sure. Surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. Amen. Let us not be stuck in the moment. It's time to move. It's time to go forward. Amen. It's time to go out and be a witness of where God has brought you Thank you. from. It's what God is doing in your life. What God is in Empowering you to be to all nations, to in your neighborhoods, in your homes, at your jobs, in the schools, out there, in this city, even in this state. Look at your neighbor and say, it's time to move. And I know it seems that we can't do it, but God says,
says he has sent us and empower. That empower is the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. And he's telling us to trust in the Lord. Amen. Do what needs to be done. I will be with you. Go where I send you. I will be with you. Speak to those that I send to you. I will be with you. Go out and make disciples. Yeah. Yeah. And stop gazing at what has happened. How I have blessed you. And go out because I don't need you to be stuck uh, in the Lord. We pray that God has spoke to you today. As we move forward in what God is having us to do. Sometimes God moves us in a place where it seems a little inconvenient. Sometimes God moves us in a place that seems a little uncomfortable. Oh, yes. But no, God will send what you need. Amen. He will send it in people. He will send it in resources. He will draw people to you that you might lift up your witness of Jesus before them. And you don't have to worry about it. It says, if I, Jesus says, if I be lifted up, I will draw oh. Oh. all oh. persons oh. unto me. Oh. Lift them up, it says, before the world. Lift them up in all of your Condition lift him up. God said, if I be lifted up, huh, I will draw all persons unto me. But you can't lift up what you haven't experienced. You can't lift up with something that you don't have in your life. You can't lift it up until you open up your, 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 your heart and say, Lord, I accept you. Thank you, Lord. In my life. I, I, I believe that you say you are who you say you are. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose from the dead. I believe that you will never leave me. Never forsake me. Come, Lord, into my life now. That I might be one of your children. Thank you, Lord. As the doors of the church are open, we ask you to stand, amen, and we give you the invitation. Yes, yes, yes. We give you the, the invitation out there online, amen. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus. So if you want to accept, say it with us. Say, Lord, Lord come, into come into my life. I accept you yes. as my Lord and Savior. I know that you lived and died for my sin. And that you rose from the dead. Say, come into my life now. And the Bible says you are now. Come on, say now. now. You are now part of God's children. You are now part of God's witnesses. You are now advocates. And if you have accepted the Lord as your Lord and Savior, we ask you to send us an email at camphopeambc at gmail.com. We ask that you put it down in the comments. Amen. If there's anyone here that's looking for a church home, now is the time. This is the place where God is still working with us. Look at your name and say, God's still working with us. God is still working with us. Now is the time and now is the place for you to come. For those that are out there online, amen, if you become a virtual member, amen, we invite you to say, I want to be a virtual member. We'll send you information. We will send you all the plans that we have, and you will have the rights and rights and benefits of being a member virtually right where you are here at Camp Hope, located at 114 Camp Hope Church Road, Macon, Georgia, 3121. For those that might need prayer, now is the time. If you want to recommit your life, now is the time. And as
as you be seated, amen, we will listen to our song of invitation. And we will allow the Holy Spirit, and we hope you will allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you during this time. Amen.
Our bodies is aching. Yes. Our situations are just falling apart, God. Our children are, are being hurt, Lord. Our, our, our children are not acting right, Lord. We, 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 we we're just depressed and, and poor sometimes, God. But your grace, your mercy. Is bringing us yes. through. Yes. We know we're not worthy, Lord. We're not worthy so much as the gavel that runs under your table, Lord. But it's your grace. grace. And it's your mercy yes. that's bringing us through. Lord, we lift up these are your people, your children, Lord who come before you now praising you and thanking you and recognizing that it's not us, but it's your grace and, and your mercy that is bringing us through, through Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. If we didn't have 10,000, if we had 10,000 tongues, it would not be enough, Lord, yes. to say thank you, to praise you, to lift up, because you are there in season out of season. You're there even though we don't even know you're there. You are still there, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And Lord, as we go through these times and in this season, Lord, and we can't walk, pick us up. Carry us through these times and in these moments, Lord, and know let us know that you're there with us and that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Heal the body right now. Heal the mind right now. Encourage a soul right now. Empower one right now, Lord. Calm the storm. Speak to the voices. Speak to the wind. Speak, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. We pray in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And thank God. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Does anybody want to say anything before we go forward? Serpents. Come on. 
that put the devil under your feet. Be thou encouraged and know that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Be thou encouraged. Encourage each other. Be with each other. Love each other. Pray for one another. For you all, we all need each other in these times and in these seasons. And now is that time, now is that purpose that we're about to do as Jesus told us to do. We're about to have communion. So, say amen. 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 so let us prepare our minds, our souls, our spirits as God gets us ready. For communion service. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, whom of thy great mercy has promised forgiveness of sin to all them with hearty repentance and true faith, turn unto thee, let us say, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm our faith and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whom will all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit. 
that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is very meek and right in our bountiful duties that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the companies of heaven, we laud and magnify the holy name and the Lord praise of thee and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crown under your table. But you are the same Lord whose property is to always have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed through his blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Yeah. Amen. 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 Christ to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself once offer full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and then instituted in his holy gospel, commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death. Until it's coming again, let us say, Hear us! Yeah, yeah. Hear us, O oh, merciful Father, we most how many beseech thee to grant that we receive in these creatures a bread and a wine according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, only instituted in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. But this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shared with you and for many for the remissions of sin. Do this as often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Divide and the blood. Divide and the blood. Divide and the blood. Representing divide and the blood. Representing divide and the blood.
New Testament. Shake some 
our Bible studies on Wednesday at 6 30, prayer hour at 6 30. Amen. Come back again for Sunday school at 9 and church at 10. We thank you again. God bless you and see you next time. I'm going to ask you to continue to pray for the church, for our members, ministerial staff, and society. The WMS of Camp Hope is leading the way in adopting the school program. Sister Deborah is asking for school supplies to assist with this project. We will start the project this month. Please be aware that we have a prayer service on Thursday night on the phone line at 6.30 p.m. Deaconess Margaret Thomas will host a meeting. Please call in at 1-978-990-5041. To listen and to participate. The code number is 675-984. Our next board meeting will take place today after church service. Please remember that our Bible study line is on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Please remember that our Sunday school is each Sunday at 9 a.m. and it also can be viewed on YouTube. Join us as we celebrate Miss Geneva Rouse Harvey. Cheers to 90 years right. will take place right. Saturday, August the 31st from 2 to 5 here at Camp Hope Family Church, 114 Camp Hope Church Road. Please reserve by August the 17th and you can contact Beverly at 478-438-6475 or Charlotte at 478-745. 3166. So she'll be celebrating 90 years. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years.